G'day guys, today we're working on a Jayco Expander, one of the bog standard ones, bed at the front, bed at the back. Uh, the guy wants to put a hot water unit in, like a Julka that you can just sort of, there's new brackets that the Julka make, they're pretty cool, you can just hook them on the side, you can lock them in place. So he wants to put one of those on the side just to go to the kitchen sink and it does have an outdoor shower on it um, out there as well, but you can just use it straight from the Julka. Um, so we've got to modify the water a little bit and also we've put, got to put a, um, a bayonet in on the side for the Julka to plug into, so you don't have to take the bottles out. And then uh, maybe a barbecue bayonet on the other side um, to use as well. So that's what we're going to do. He has bought a pump as well to go with it. Just got the C flow, um, and the model he got was the RV1-030-055-4. It's a 9.5 liters a minute, so plenty enough to run the Julka. He reckons that there's no pump in there at the moment, but I find that hard to believe because surely there'd be a pump because the only that means. The only way to get that 160 litres out from the two tanks would be the hand pump because there's, there's a hand pump in there, but there must be. So once I get in there, it might be hidden in the cupboard or something. So I'll check that out first, see if he's, he's actually correct. But he might be. Who knows? It is one of the bog standard Jayco expanders. G'day guys, it's Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Uh, yes, he was correct. There is no pump. Um, this, so this is the only way to um, get the you know, 160 litres out is to just pump this little baby. So yeah, not too cool. So he's got, you know, a, a tap here with a, for the hot and cold water and everything and, uh, you know, outdoor shower and everything, but it's all just hooked up to the cold. Uh, and so when you, I'll show you when you plug into the, plug into, like when you rock up to the caravan, that's what he's got. He wants to do some, you know, some um, stuff off, off piece, you know, off grid. And so once you just plug into to here, then, then everything works. So, um, and then we'll get started sorting out the water and um, get all the shower and everything connected. Um, so what we hopefully want to do is just have a, an inlet, uh, an outlet for the Julka to hook onto outside and then the hot mode to go in there. That'll run the, the little utility shower, the outdoor shower, and that'll go through to the kitchen sink. So work on that and then we'll sort out the gas for that as well. Cool. G'day guys. Um, okay, so I've done the water. I'll just show you um, how it all how it all worked out worked out sweet um so I'll, sh I'll just sort of give you the rundown so under here um he's got the battery hidden down here and if you can see this is the this is the back of the the shower okay that the, where the shower's packed in on the outside so um always mark the hot and cold so you don't get confused so you know what's going where and you can see here that i've just gone down through the floor i don't know if you can see that so they come up so the the cold main is um coming so so from this way and then it goes down, down, down there, and that, that's what will go out and supply the hot water unit. And then this one here, the supply for the cold, for the shower, and then the hot here goes along, and then it just goes straight down, if you can see, just underneath there. That goes down, and so the hot, hot the jorka will be hooked into this one, and so the hot water will come out of the hot water system, come up through here, once it's hooked into it, come along to the hot, go to the shower, and then it will continue along through here. Okay, and we'll just go around in the cupboard, I'll show you where it comes through the bottom here of the, of the cupboard. So I open that up and you can see, so they both come over the wheel arch there, okay? And so the hot main comes up and then goes into the, uh, into the hot side of the, of the mixer there. Okay, easy enough, All right? Now the cold main also comes, comes from there too and comes down and now where, where it goes down, that's where it goes in, this is uh, connected onto the existing main and that goes down to where the, the tap is installed, um, you know, where the, you know, where you can put the mains pressure onto it. And so that goes down onto that. And, and then, so here's, here's the pump. So this is the um, suction line. Now that suction line used to be to go up through this shelf and that used to hook onto that tap here. Okay, that's that pump tap that I was talking about. Okay, so that, that I've just cut that off because I don't need that anymore. Pulled it through that hole. I used the hole for the hot, okay. So I've just pulled that off and then hooked it onto the, hooked it onto the pump here. So it's very important, it's got this inline filter so the water can go through here and any bits of stuff in, in the tank and everything will stop it going into the into the little pressure pump here. And it's very important, once you get off the pump, so this is the high pressure of it, you need to put a check valve in like this, okay? It's a little check valve, it's a John Guest check valve and there's a little line on it to show you which direction and that. And the reason we put that in there is so when you hook it onto the mains and then you can imagine the mains pressure coming up this way, if you didn't have this on there, the water would flow through and come out here and then all the high it'd be high pressure on these really soft hoses and it would 
you know, pop them off underneath, off your tanks and everything like that. So it's important that you need a check valve and that really protects it. So that's that's been installed now too, okay? And then also um, over under this bed here, this is where it comes in from the mains here. Okay, I'll just see if I can get it down there for you. So this is where it comes out of the, so you, you know, you get to the caravan park on the other side of this, you hook your hose onto it and it comes up here and through. And then I've just put a pressure limiting valve on here, okay? And that reduces the pressure back to 350 kPa because some of these country towns and stuff, they can have some crazy pressure coming into the into the caravan park. So if you hook your van up and you've got maybe a thousand kPa or something, you'll you'll blow some blow some uh, pipes and stuff some fittings up. So just by putting that in that in there, that also stops the water flowing back into the into the pump and everything, and also only puts 350 going um, down. And so that continues on. It goes under the van and then it goes off to the front tap. Okay, and then like I said, it swings back under the van and then comes up the bottom of the cupboard there. Like I said before, down here. Okay, comes up through there, and then you know can run can run the water to the kitchen sink, and it can also go that way and run the dual guide water system when they've got water on tap. Okay, all right. I'll show you outside now how the how um, the bottom is all connected. Okay, so here's your um, the utility shower that's you know we saw on the back of that with the valves, and then below that we had those fittings, and I'll show you how it's all worked out underneath here. So there you can see it's got the um, the cold, so that the, you know, the water will come out of that, and then the hot will, will from the hot water system will go up in there, and that'll charge this shower, and also then swing over to the to the kitchen sink. And here's the uh, the gas bayonet for the the jewel could hook onto as well, okay, and that's all sleeved and goes up to the front of the unit. I'll show you too the regulator. I had to. It's, it's it's quite an old regulator. It only lasts about five years, so we put a new one in, but. It's very important that the top of the regulator has to be higher than, higher than the top of the bottle, okay? But also with the expanders, you've got to make sure that the bed doesn't come down on top of it. So I've just made up this other bracket on the side here and, um, and, and plumbed it all up sort of thing. So that's all, all good to go then as well. Um, I might show you, because um, a lot of people ask about these um, Ryko fittings that we use for the water. Um, I might just show you how they how they work and how you can put it on a bracket or even going through, you know, thicker walls. I'll show you how that works. Two seconds. I'll just get a get a couple of spare ones and I'll show you how that how that works now. G'day guys. I get a lot of questions of you know asking me what type of quick connect fittings I use for the water side of things. Um, I use these Ryko fittings. The reason I like these is they're fully brass and um, yeah, I think they'll just last a lot longer, especially if you're in, you know, camping with a bit of salty water and stuff like that and they don't seem to seize up as badly. Um, now, yeah, so, so they're called the Ryko fittings. If you, uh, I buy these in bulk, okay, from, a, from my supplier over here in Perth. But if you're looking at them, you can get them online from a place called Auto Mega Store and I think they're in Queensland, I'm not sure. But if you look up Auto Mega Store and their logo is like a little forklift, I think. So if you... Yeah, Auto Mega Store, type in Ryko, which is R-Y-C-O, type that in the search bar and then all those all these fittings will come up. And what you're after is the female, and this is like uh, six mil or quarter they call it. So you're looking for this fitting, that's, that's what it looks like. And the reason I use the female is because it, it gives you a couple options. So just for instance, if you need to go through, if say, if you need to go through a thin bracket or something to to have that going you know, through there to, to hook onto as it comes out the side of your van or something. So if you're going through a bracket, all you need to buy is this um, brass hex nipple, okay? And you can get these from Reese. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put the thing up on the, on the, uh, on the screen now. Uh, and the number is, I think, 208525. So 208525, that's the product code number. So you just need one of them. So that's like six mil to 15 mil, right? So you put thread seal on that or, or lock heel or something like that. And then what you can do, you see, you can just pop that through the, I'd say if it's you know, this way or whatever, you, you pop it through, okay? And then this bit, the female will screw on there. So it bites in tight, so it seals there, but then as you keep tightening it up, you snug it up and it gets nice and solid, you know? So whatever bracket you hold it onto, becomes nice and solid. And then from then over, you get the John Guest fitting. This is for the, you know, this is for the bog standard. Um, hose, you know, the pipes that they use on the, you know, I'll buy this in bulk too. So this is the, the John Guest piping that you know, most Jayco caravans, the new MBC ones have these. So they they fit on that. So that's that's the 12 mil John Guest and this is onto 15 millimeter um, 
female and it's got a rubber in there as well. So then what you can do is that bit, the female goes into the male, you screw that in against the, the seal and then you're off and running to the, you know, the John Guest and you can put T's in and, and do whatever you want. Okay, now for instance, what happens if, if say you've got, you've got this one um, and you want to say you've got the side of a, you know, you've got a, the wall of a caravan you want to come out on or something a lot thicker, then all you need to do is to buy this uh, stuff called all thread. I don't know if you can get it at Reese. Uh, it's a bit specialized sort of thing. It's, it's like that's six mil all thread or quarter inch is, is the other one they use. So if you can get like, you can buy them in 150 mil lengths or, you know, or three, 300 mil, so like that. So what, what you can do then, if you're say going through the side of a van or a thicker bit of wood or through flooring or anything, but like this van here I went through flooring. So what you can do is you can screw that into there, right? And then you can push that through the wall and that'll come out the other end. You just gotta make sure the, the thread's just long enough to, to grip it. And then you can get this um, called a brass reducing bush and that's six mil to 15 mil, okay? So you can get that at Reese too, okay? Now the number on that is 20, uh, yeah, 207 035, so 207 035, and you can just get that reducing bush, okay? So there's your, your female, goes onto the, 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 the all thread, and you can, you know, you make sure you put thread or thread seal or um, yeah, lock heel on it is even better, and you can just screw that on like that, and then you can bite it in nice and tight like that, and then you've got another solid solid fitting, so that could be coming out of your van or anything like that. And then again, you get your female fitting, um, you know, the John Guest fitting, that goes on like that, and then you convert it over to the John Guest pipe, and then off you go, you're on your way sort of thing. Um, the other thing you need to buy from the um, Auto Mega Store is the um, the matching piece to this, okay? So the, that's what it looks like, and that's the bit that goes into the, in, into the Ryko fitting, right? And then on the other end is the barb, Okay, they call it the barb end. So you, you look the, you know, that to the barb, and then that just pushes in. Now you can get, you know, different types of these. You can get that to have a quarter inch or, or 10 mil female or male thread or whatever you want to, to connect onto something different. But this is the one I like to use. And then what you do with that is you buy this. Um, this is just eight mil hose from Bunnings. It's, it's a kinetic, you know, it's, it's food, food safe and all that stuff. You can just buy two meters or five meters, whatever, so the kinetic brand. You can just see that there, okay? So you can buy that stuff. And the reason I get that is it's perfect size to, to push the, um, the barb fitting into. So what you do is you heat up your kettle, you stick that last little bit into boiling hot water for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then you push it in there, put your hose clamp on, never gonna come off, right? And so when you got that on, and that can clip into your, into your Ryko fittings, and go up to your Jorka to supply it or to come back into it. Okay, so that easy, easy how it goes on. And then, now if you ever wanna hook this this pipe, this eight mil onto the Jorka, then these are the things you gotta buy. Okay, it's a pipe, it's an eight mil, eight mil hose connector. You can get these from Bunnings. They use, I've never seen them. Have, whenever I've been there, they've never run out. So um, yeah, buy a couple of those. And then that hose there, you can see how it's smaller. That hose fits perfectly on, on, the, on the eight mil hose, okay? So then, yep, click it into your, your van and then you just cut it, cut it to length, put your, uh, your Pope eight mil connector on there and then that can just go clip onto the bottom of, of your Jorka hot water system. Now, if you um, wanna set this up, you know, with these, with these coming out of the bottom, so you've got the, the cold and the hot and you don't have a Jorka or you just wanna test it, you just wanna loop it. So what you need to do really, normally it would go from coming out here, the cold would go through the jorker and then go back into the hot. Now, if you've, if you've got that and you haven't got your jorker or you just want to test it, what I, I usually do is like when I'm testing them, I just get the two meter hose, put the two fittings in, clip it into the cold, clip it into the hot, and then it's like it's going through the hot water system and then you can check that there's no leaks on the hot side, that the mixes are on the right way and stuff like that. So that's, um, that's how I do it, all right? I hope that's helpful. I'll just continue on with the gas. I'll show you what, what we've done on that with the, with the bayonets and stuff like that now. All right, so with the gas side, it's, um, it was 3 eighths pipe coming out there. What, like I said before, we've, we've jacked up the, um, the regulator, made sure that's the correct height. And then we've tapped into the 3 eighths line underneath. And then we've put a 3 eighths line to each bayonet. So one, one bayonet is over here that you've seen before. That's, um, that's here. That's for the jorker with the dust, dust plug and everything. 
put a little badge on there now just saying, look, you know, you're not meant to um, use it um, without, you know, use the bayonet with an appliance that doesn't have a flame value device, apparently, but I don't know if they're going to look into that or re-advise it. And then out the bottom here, at, at, on the other side too, we've got one that we've tucked up just there, you can see. That's the other one, this is the other bayonet there. Um, that's for the, you know, barbecue that they can hook, hook onto at a later stage. And that just all just sneaks under there nicely. It's got the T, T over there, if you can see, all, all wired up. And they've got a diesel leader in them and stuff as well. So, yeah, all good. And then um, I'll say what I've been doing now is putting a bit of heat shrink on the bottom. I don't know if you saw that before for the hot and cold water. I'll grab that hose too. I'll show you that. Oh, grab that hose. So, I'll show you the heat shrink under there. So, yeah, it makes it very easy to um, yeah, put the put the heat shrink on there and then it's, you know, then you know which is hot and hot and cold and stuff. And that's what I was talking about before. You can just plug, so you, if, if it was, you know, charged up, you could plug that in there and then, you know, water would start spewing out the other end because it just goes down the hose, okay? And then you can hook that into the, the other side there, if you can see that, okay? And that, that means that, you know, the, the hot will be all working like it's been through the hot water unit and everything. So, um, the guy who owns this is going to buy one of those brackets from Julka, so he'll he'll put it on on the side of his van wherever he wants it, and then that Julka can just hook on there um, and be totally portable. Take it off. You can put a lock on it to so when you're away, people can't knock it off. Then you can use your shower and stuff, plug in your gas bayonet, and um, yeah, it's all good. So once he, because I'm not sure where he wants to, yeah, you know, how far away he wants to put it. If he wants to put it up here or here, so I'll just leave the hose. And then all he's got to do is just cut that hose in half later on and then put those um, Pope 8 mil things on there and clip it on there. So once he's done that, now I'm, I'm not doing, I don't think I'm doing the wiring for this one for the pump, so I've put it in there. Um, my mate in the unit next door, he's an oil electrician, so I'll just see if um, the owner wants to um, get his own auto auto sparky to do that, or um, or I can just get uh, my mate next door to do that for me. So, all right guys, hope that's been helpful, and um, thanks for watching, and if you get the chance to subscribe to the channel, that'll be great. Always helps and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys, catch you later.